The biggest discovery in the world has been made right here in this building. NASA gets out here, I guarantee you in 30 to 40 minutes, they will know that we're not alone in the universe. My name is Floyd Bates Jr. and I built this here big old castle here. It's named, it's named Greenback Castle. But now what's really taking place here are some of the biggest scientific discoveries ever made in the world. Now you're gonna think this is insane. I built this thing myself out of scraps. But it is huge, as big as a small town looks like, and there ain't no way in the world one man can build this place. And that gives you some idea of, you know, where each scientist in this world can build this out of scraps by himself. I ain't even being healthy. If I'd have been healthy, I'm under a heart doctor. I ain't a complaint. I'm the happiest old man you ever seen. But I can't see good enough to drive. I've been close to death a few times. But I ain't dead. I'm 77 and hope to make another 150 years. But you know, that ain't gonna happen. The scientists has got the number one science problem in this world is how we stick to the ground or how gravity works. They know we stick to the ground and they know gravity does it, but they don't understand it. So the researchers, anybody wants to come out here, lie detector researchers or professors, anybody wants to get here, would you please get here and you get all this information free? And even I'll throw in the equation for gravity while we stick to the ground. It's, a, it's the equation for gravity is equal mass plus equals change of direction back up. And uh, I'll, I'll explain it to you. It's a little complicated now and takes time consuming because we need to concentrate on the number one problem. Are we alone in the universe? If you took all the sciences we got now, which are great, great bunch, they're smarter than I am and uh, you put them together in the past, they couldn't prove that we're alone in the universe, but I'm gonna prove we're not alone in the universe, which would be a great discovery. And it must be important because look how many people went to Area 1, or 51, Area 51. Some of them take chances on their life, just get in there to prove, and they ain't proved nothing all these years. You know what I mean? If they'd have come here, they wouldn't have to dodge anything. They wouldn't have to take a chance on their life. They just walk right in here and they get this stuff free. We're gonna give you four evidence. Okay, there's 22 evidences here, maybe even more. But we're just, for time consuming, we'll just show you four. If you don't understand four of that, you're not gonna believe 22 of them. For example, for example, these things are coming up on the wall here. You see that over there? That ain't man-made. That's only one, we're gonna show you four, but that's only one out of 22 that's on the wall here. See, I put the paint around this, didn't have to, but like I said, there's 22 images in here. You know, look how many chances they've had if they come up on their own and be leaning and upside down. All 22 is perfectly straight up and down, which can't happen. You got a better chance of being light struck in uh, every, every country in the world. We, uh, we showed you one evidence about proving that we're not alone in the universe. Now right here's, right here's another example. This is a great example. We have a floating tree here. The power company cut the end of it off because they afraid it's gonna fall. They didn't know it was going to float. I didn't know it was going to float. But they cut the end of this. Just think how big that log is now in the standing. Think how long it is if you add two more logs to that plus the brush and it's standing. And we're going to take you around here in a minute because that log is floating. Okay, now we showed you the evidence of this tree on the other side. But now if you look real close here, you'll see the trunk is broke on this tree. The roots are pulled up, they are broke. Now there's a grapevine running up the side of it, but if you see that grapevine, it's not even stretching that grapevine. Even if it's 20 grapevines hooked onto it, it's not gonna hold that up, cause look how many tons is on these logs. Now it's been pulling like that day and night for three weeks. 
and add two more logs on that and you'll see how much weight you got. So there's something going on here deep in this world. If you researchers would get here, you might understand why them ancient people lifted them big old stones and stuff. I'm not sure of that. But you might have an inside track, and that there gentleman down in Florida lifted them our 40 ton stones way up, our, and him weighing just what he weighed, 89 pounds, something like that. And nobody seen him ever do that. Now, that, it may not have a thing to do with this, but again, it might, because they can't figure out why, how them lift weights are big weights, way, drag them miles and miles and miles, and then huge amounts. This might be, I'm not sure with this, I know this thing's floating. The Egyptians and the pyramids, you kind of understand that. They had all these slaves and everything and people working for the government and whatever. And there's enough of them and they figured out a way to do that. So why not? But some of them places, even way before that, where them stones is huge and they get them way up on top of each other. And, and this is one of the pieces, the four pieces I was going to tell you, going to give you know, to the world there. So researchers get out here. You can go all around this tree if you want to. I wouldn't recommend you to go under it because every watch that's holding it up, might, it might change its mind. Here is more evidence. You know, we've been discussing evidence. If we're alone in the universe, hey, we're not alone. We're not alone in this universe. Look at this. Look how straight up and down it is. So you researchers, you need if you can get out here. So I invite everybody, I take a lie detector test, a hundred of them are investigators, I don't care how many comes. I'd be easy to break down because I'm real humble and I ain't even really smart. I'd be 10 seconds old I'd last. But you know, we're not gonna break this down. They just come out here and just, you be welcome, you know. If you're a little short on gas, I'll get you a dollar or two of us and go in your tank, so just get out of here. <laughs> okay, we presented you all a lot of evidence here, and uh, you've, seen some, you've seen some great stuff, but we just showed just a little bit of it, but we showed just some great stuff. But it can't happen, but it is happening. And right here's one of them. Somebody came in here, and they took a picture. If you look close at that picture, you will see somebody standing in the doorway, and they're not from this, they're not from this world. And if you look real close, it's carrying something. I don't think we have nothing to fear from it, because I don't think it's got a weapon. Look standing in the door. There's something from not this world standing in the door. Look here, this is coming from them. It's some kind of message, but I'm not able to transmit this because I don't speak their language. <laughs> And look at all those sun rays coming down. There's at least three, four hundred sun rays. Now, if that was coming from the sun, that ground would be pure white. Look at three, four hundred rays. You can see them plain. But look at that. The ground's still brown, just like the sun ain't even hitting it. So them rays got to be from them people standing in the doorway. Ain't no other way to explain it. And I need somebody with a little bit of education to help me figure out what's going on here. So I need some researchers. And we will prove, because I've done got it proved. All I gotta do is get some people here to verify it. It's done a proof, folks. This can't happen. A floating tree and what you've seen on the wall come up. And uh, this, it's been proved, but you gotta to have, a, so it'll be a science fact, you gotta have verification, you know. That's where you intelligent researchers will be. Come out and help me with this thing here, because we need to get it verified and real quick, you know. So. I'd appreciate anybody if they come out because you can see you can see big discovery. It's gotta be one of the biggest discoveries ever made in the world. You say the atomic bombs, that was great, but they was ten thousand people working on it. Einstein had the equation. But how many thousands of people did it take to put that together? One old man putting this together and he needs some help. So if you would get out here and help him out here. Because he's old as dirt. And they may quit communicating with him, so the quicker you all get out of here, the quicker we can prove this stuff. Because I'm 77 now, and I might live to be 102, and I might not. <laughs> and it'd be a shame, all this evidence, to go down the drain. So get, if you would get out here, let's, let's get on this stuff.
This ought to be good one, Fred. <laughs>